Thank you very much. I'm excited about tonight's show because when you get a pro like Pat Cooper to come Pat on Cooper. a show, you know you're in for fine comedic entertainment. That's right. You know, Pat Cooper, uh, for years and years, I've seen Pat Cooper uh, on uh, television. Yeah. And, and recently you've, you hear Pat Cooper on radio. And up until we had him on the program the last time, his first time with us, he would always say horrible, awful things about me. About you? Yeah, yeah. And, and I just thought, well, let's, let's bring the guy on. And I was going to ask him about it the last time he was here, but he was, he was so talkative I <laughs> that I didn't get a in. chance to get uh, that in. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing you uh, ask that question. Well, maybe time. I won't ask it. Why and, were and, you? And maybe after this, maybe he won't even be here. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, maybe don't let me jinx his appearance. He hasn't even come on yet. You know, you Paul, know? Let, me, let me just say something. I want to straighten one thing out. <clears throat> I see every day on television this commercial for some kind of shampoo, and it features uh, leggy supermodel uh, Cindy Crawford. Oh, yes. For Flex Shampoo. Oh, I'm familiar with the commercial. Now, this is not very important, and I know I'm probably the only one in North America concerned about this, but they say, all right, here's uh, Cindy Crawford and somebody else, and she says, wow, we're crazy about Flex Shampoo. And then the other one says, yeah, boy, are we ever. And then she says, but you know what they did? They changed the formula. And then the other one says, bad idea. And then the other one says, yeah, but guess what? They changed it back. Oh, that's great. And then the other one says, yeah, and now it's better than ever. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. No, it can't. It can't possibly be better than ever. It's only as good as it was before you changed it. <laughs> now, the reason I mentioned that was Pat Cooper because I've always found him very entertaining. Yeah. And I wasn't angry. I just always was puzzled as to why he would go on the radio and TV and say odd things about me. Clear this I mean, up. I, you know, I guess that's a pretty long list when well. you think about it. Clear it up tonight with him. Yeah, we'll you? get to the bottom of that. Ladies and okay. gentlemen, speaking of getting to the bottom of things, I have no idea what that means. Let's let's now answer our viewer mail. Here I have a fistful of viewer mail. These are actual letters. <laughs> Letter number one. I have a beverage here first. Dear Dave, you look familiar. Do I know you? Puzzled. Susan Simon, Long Beach, New York. Uh, you know, I know what this is. No, Susan, we, uh, we haven't met. This is the kind of thing that happens all the time. You, you probably remember me from this uh, magazine ad that I was in here. I have a, a copy of it there. A lot, a lot of people uh, uh, see me in, in this, and then they think that we know each other. There's the faces of all of us. That's, that's how a lot of people think they know me. A lot of people think they know me from that magazine ad. Yeah, didn't realize you did that. Yeah, a couple of years ago. Yeah, just pocket change, gum uh -huh. money, you know. <laughs> Letter number two. Dear Dave, uh, how do you always manage to get such a nice close shave? Uh, just looking for some personal hygiene tips. Tim McMahon, Sutton's River, Vermont. You know, this is an excellent question because this is the kind of thing I can get very excited about. Uh, getting a great shave is actually one of the best parts of my day. And I think one of the secrets, although there are considerably many, is going to the same barber year after year. Uh, and that's Enrique right there. First, he, he drapes my face in hot towels and lets me relax and moisten up for a little bit there in the shop. Next, using his own secret European shaving technique, he, he gives me a wonderfully close shave every time. And finally, Enrique's only own personal blended icy hot after shave lotion. Believe me, Enrique is a skin care genius. Enrique is Enrique. a skin care genius. Skin care genius. genius, yeah. I noticed. I picked that up. <laughs> Letter number three, ladies and gentlemen. Letter number three. We're three quarters of the way through our viewer mail tonight. Viewer mail then would consist of four letters, I would That would be right. Guess. Excellent, excellent powers of deduction, Paul. Thank you. Fine piece of detective work. Three quarters of the way through, this would be letter number three. Letter number three. Hey, Dave, what the hell is up with your shoes? Matthew Lutz, Savannah, Georgia. Well, well, Matthew, in answer to this question, tell, uh, here's what you do. Just keep watching daytime television. Hal, show him why. Sure, roll. That's Hal Gurney, our director. What the hell is up with Letterman's shoes on the next Donahue? How do we do it? Night after I, night, I week after week, top flight comedy. Come this up is it. blue chip top flight 
Solid gold, we high powered, speed of light comedy. Man. Letter number four. <laughs> Dear Mr. Letterman, I am writing to ask a special favor. I am having a guest visit me from the University of Washington in Seattle. Tom is the son of close friends and belongs to the Sigma Chi fraternity there. Is there any time that you might be available for a few moments so that you can greet each other? Respectfully yours, Donald Gould, Teaneck, New Jersey. <clears throat> well, this is a, kind of a nice letter, and while I don't ordinarily do this sort of thing, we did arrange to have Mr. Gould, who wrote this uh, nice letter to us, and uh, his friend's son, Tom, uh, bless you, stop by the GE building. <laughs> uh, Hal, go ahead and roll that tape, if you will. All right, Mr. Letterman is a very busy man, but we've arranged for him to personally greet Tom. Boy, this is the greatest. This should be him now. Hi, Don. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Tom. Are you going to leave, or do I have to call security? Top flight comedy. Yes. <laughs> Top flight group <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, let's see, let's see if the picture goes dim when I kind of crimp off this guy's hose. Hi. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to grab the cameraman's hose. All right, kids. We're, uh, that's, that's more, more of that blue chip comedy we were talking about. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody.